Making major logistics property decisions is challenging enough, but when you add in today's changes in the supply chain, they can take on nightmare proportions. JLL has invested heavily in combining their global property expertise with supply chain intelligence. It's helping executives make better informed decisions, as Joanna Simpson reports. Every year, hundreds of thousands of items are imported and exported to and from the UK. JLL says where items are manufactured is changing, primarily due to right-shoring, but each product, like those here at London Gateway, needs housing until it reaches its final destination. What is our main challenge at the moment? The supply chain is being impacted massively by the digitalization of the economy and the increase on service level and demand. JLL says it has unrivaled coverage across the UK, as well as a broader global footprint. This knowledge is strengthened by in-house supply chain experts who help companies anticipate and adapt to the changing environment whilst meeting their current needs. The customer is at the centre of the equation. We are moving from a supply chain, in fact, to what some people call a demand chain. So we are helping people positioning three type of buildings, mega fulfillment centers that are about 100,000 square meter, then another type of distribution center, which we call middle mile, which would be anywhere in between 30 and 50,000 square meter, down to what we call a last mile or a city logistics hub, which could be about 3,000, 5,000 square meter in the cities or on the outskirts of the cities London Gateway, which is one of the places JLL markets, says it has 10 million consumers within a 65-mile radius. Being situated close to London with a port, park and rail network means a diverse range of products, from food to furniture to cars, can be transported swiftly, which is what customers now demand. The shorter the supply chain, the less money that's in circulation, the better returns for the retailer and, and of course, the manufacturer alike. London itself is the largest growing population in the UK. So by 2030, there should be another 2 million people living and working in London. And of course, access to market is vital in the internet and e-commerce age. Solving urban logistics is a challenge. This site in Enfield is within the M25, so products can be taken easily to London and the southeast. The fact that it's that bit further out of the city centre also means that the costs of developing and running the site are that much more attractive for its clients. In terms of the innovation in city logistics, firstly, consolidation centres reducing the number of deliveries going into cities by consolidating deliveries into different retailers. That's something we're looking at. Secondly, um, there's multimodal logistics platforms. An example would be trains come in overnight and then the goods are delivered, the final delivery by road economically friendly vehicles, thirdly, multi-storey buildings. We don't see them currently in the UK very much at all. One example at Heathrow, they're very common in Asia Pacific. I've seen them in China and Hong Kong. I think that's something which people will be looking at as well. The increase in last mile delivery or city hubs is in part due to the rise of e-commerce. In 2015, 14% of all retail sales were done online. Companies now request sites like this one, which is in the final stages of development, to be fully constructed in 10 weeks. The location, location, location principle in logistics has always been the cornerstone of, um, of the difference between good and bad. But in particular with e-commerce, the need to be able to service your residential areas has made, uh, in particular, Greater London and indeed in Europe, a very you know, highly concentrated, high value, uh, high demand market.